Hello, my name is Sue Seath and I've owned and bred Dachshunds for the past 30 years, primarily for the show ring, but um, also to, um, to breed them to, for family pets as well. Um, the ones that I've got with me at the moment are Twix, who's the oldest at four, her daughter Crunchy, who's just going to sleep, her nephew Cadbury, her cousin Polar, a little mini smooth Inky, and her daughter Cracker, who was born on Christmas Day 2010. Dachshunds come in six different breeds. Um, we've got three coat types, smooth, long and wire, and two sizes, standard and miniature. The standards weigh between 25 and 30 pounds in practice, although the breed standard actually says up to 26 pounds. And the miniatures weigh around 10, 11 pounds. So there's a dog of coat type and size to suit everybody, really. You've got three main colours in the breed, black and tan, red and chocolate and tan, although miniature long heads do also have silver dapple and chocolate dapple, but generally the three main colours, uh, black and tan, red and chocolate. And the, of the ones I've got here, the, the wires, the coat pattern that we would say is a brindle rather than black and tan. So we've got three brindles and a chocolate and tan, and then the two black and tan miniature smooth haired Dachshunds to show you here. There's no real big difference between a dog and a bitch in this breed, either in terms of size or temperament. Uh, the bitches tend to be just slightly smaller than the dogs, but not always. And they all need the same amount of grooming, exercise and attention. One difference between the standard and the miniature Dachshunds is that the little miniatures can be slightly more difficult to house train, but provided you're consistent and very patient with them, they will eventually get the message and become fully house trained. They just take a little bit longer. They were originally bred for hunting the standard Dachshunds to go to ground for badger and fox and the miniature Dachshunds for hunting rabbit. Um, they are also used for tracking and they are still used to this day by deer stalkers for tracking wounded game. So they have a very strong sense of smell. They are hounds and they will get distracted when they're out and some of them will go off hunting on their own. So it's essential that you teach them how to come back off the lead when they're young puppies so that it's not a novelty and they don't get uh, into the habit of going too far away from you when they're off the lead. Um, as a breed, they're very intelligent, lively dogs. Uh, they can be quite noisy as um, when people come to the house, they'll bark quite loudly, uh, but generally they'll settle down as long as they have plenty of exercise, they're not too bad. Um, the three different breeds, the wires are probably the most extrovert, um, also the mini wires have the same sort of characteristics. The smooths are probably a little bit more reserved with strangers and the longs are probably the most laid back of the three coat type varieties. They make good family companions, provided you give them plenty of exercise and mental stimulation. They're very affectionate dogs and want to be with you and involved with what you're doing all the time. So they don't like to be left on their own for a long period of time. They're good with children, um, especially if they've been brought up with them from puppies, but all Dachshunds should tolerate all people coming and visiting and should be friendly. They're generally okay with cats and other pets as long as they've been brought up with them from puppyhood, but an adult Dachshund probably wouldn't tolerate a cat. They will chase and kill pheasants, for instance, rabbits sometimes. I've had one kill a squirrel. They are quite keen hunters, but if you've got family pets, provided they're brought up with them as puppies, they should be okay. Um, Cracker's brother lives with a house rabbit quite happily and um, gets on very well with him. So as long as it's from a puppy, you should be okay. But obviously be careful, don't leave them unsupervised with anything small mammal. They are affectionate dogs and as you can see, like to cuddle up on the sofa and like a lot of um, stroking and cuddling. They're, they're very affectionate and want to be with you all the time and involved in whatever you're doing.
they all need a, a decent amount of exercise. They're an active breed. They've got a keen sense of smell and some of them will go off hunting and doing their own thing. So they do need plenty of free running exercise. So you need to be a keen walker to have a dachshund. An adult dachshund would probably need three quarters of an hour to an hour of free running exercise every day. Um, you start off when they're puppies, when they've had their first inoculation probably five to ten minutes a day and build it up gradually. A general guide is about five, five minutes of exercise per month of age. So by the time they're sort of four months old, they're having about 20 minutes. And by the time they're six months old, about 30 minutes. Once they're over a year old, they'll take whatever exercise you want to give them, provide you've built it up gradually and don't overdo it when they're young but they do need to go out every day to see the world and get to socialise with other dogs and people and get used to different situations. Traffic going by, coming off the lead and coming back on the lead. Uh, plenty of training when they're young is the key to it. Although they seem as if they're a small breed, they are very active and do need plenty of exercise when they're grown up. Otherwise they will be noisy and destructive in the house and also somebody around during most of the day they don't benefit from being left on their own for long periods of time, but that applies to all dogs. Most of them are controllable, but they are not the world's most obedient breed, and they are quite strong-willed, but will do most things for a food reward and plenty of praise. So they are manageable, but don't expect instant obedience when you've got them all off the lead on a walk if there's something that they want to smell. Dachshunds are not fussy feeders, and provided you don't make too big an issue of it when they're young and make them tricky to feed, um, they'll eat most types of complete food. Um, they are very food motivated when it comes to teaching them, you know, reward-based training is the way to do it rather than anything else. They're not really keen on playing with toys. They will chew nylon bones and things like that, but they're not really motivated by toys as a method of training them. The ones that need the most attention to the coats are the wires that need their coats hand stripping two or three times a year, depending on how profuse the coat is. And the long-haired dachshunds need plenty of grooming because they've obviously got long hair on the ears and the back of the legs and the tail that needs a bit of extra attention. The smooths are probably the easiest in terms of grooming. But on a weekly basis, they would need a, a good grooming, a thorough grooming. The, the wires will need a good brush and comb through all the uh, long hair on their legs. And the same with the standard long hairs. The miniature smooths are, are brushed with a very soft uh, bristle brush and all of them need their teeth cleaning with dog toothpaste and a toothbrush and nails clipping occasionally. Uh, they don't really need bathing on a regular basis unless they roll in something smelly <laughs> which <laughs> is a fairly frequent occurrence but generally they're quite easy to keep clean and tidy. Probably the biggest health problem is bad backs. Um, there's no health screening test as yet for that, although there is some research being done by the Animal Health Trust at the moment to try and see if there's a genetic basis for it and potentially a, a DNA test may eventually be available. There is an eye condition in all of the miniature varieties, CORD1 PRA, that all responsible breeders should be testing for, and that's a DNA test which is available again from the Animal Health Trust. Apart from that, they really have very few health conditions. They're a very healthy breed, provided they're kept to the right weight and well exercised. Probably best not to let them go running up and down stairs. Mine do jump on and off the furniture, but um, ideally when they're young, be careful with them. And the little minis need picking up and putting down off furniture if you can manage that. The best advice I could give to somebody who's considering a dachshund would be to go and visit somebody who's got uh, adult dachshunds that you can have a look at and ask all the questions that you want to before you go and see puppies because obviously puppies are very cute and you, you know you might be tempted to have a puppy where, where not having thought about it fully. 
So you need to work out whether there's somebody at home during the day to look after the dog. Um, what will you do in terms of exercising it? What will you do when you go on holiday? All that kind of thing. You need to think about that before you go and look at puppies and ask all your questions. When you go and see the, uh, the puppies, it's very important that you see the mum of the pups with the litter and see what the temperament of the mum is like. It may not be possible to see the father. He may belong to another breeder. But have a look at the other adult dogs and see what their temperaments are like. They should be friendly once you've come in and sat down. They should be prepared to um, be touched and handled by everybody who's come to visit. The puppies should be the same sort of thing really. They should all be friendly. They should all come up and be touched and handled quite happily. They should have bright eyes, clean coats, not be scratching and nibbling and not have um, poorly tummies either. But those are the main things to look out for. And then it's just personal preference whether you want a dog or a bitch or what type of coat or what colour. And that will influence your choice and perhaps the personality of the puppies that you see when you're visiting. Oh, 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 oh,